Hey folks, John and my woodsman, of course. We made it back to the woods. One more time at least. Maybe we can get another one in here. As long as you only have three feet of snow. A little different setup. Do have some good scenery. The, the trees are already past the peak and dropping a lot of leaves. As you can see, camp was uh, totally covered in a pretty good layer of leaf litter. And uh, so Kevin from Kevin's Adventures, who's having a 2000 sub push giveaway, he's also got an option of uh, taking a picture with you out in nature with fall colors. And that's going to be another part of his giveaway. So I know I'm not going to win that, that part of it because I don't have a lot of color anywhere. I mean, yeah, we got some, but it's, it's probably 60% gone. It's probably only about 40% really. But anyway, I'll tell you more about that later. Um, yeah, so this is our setup. It's Adrian's. Kind of setting things up a little different this time. So the same old, same old. And, uh, yeah, he ought to be cozy in there. He had to set it up different because it yeah, he did, uh, he forgot his rain fly, actually, to be honest, so he had to, we had to get creative and get something to really hunker down on there. Got us a fire pit, nice and deep, and got some dirt piled up around it. It is beautiful out here, though, even though most of the leaves are down. Got a couple of our tools hanging up. Here's my setup. Totally different than what I'm used to, but we got to try something different <coughs> once in a while, you know. You can't always have the same old, same old. So, and it works good because it's going to help hold some heat in too. It's supposed to be down to third between 30 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, so it'll be a little chilly maybe. But uh, I got my military sleep system in there, and uh, probably can't see it. Yeah, maybe. Um, I will tell you that it's a great bag, it's 10 pounds, it's outdated, considering some of the bags, most of the bags you can get nowadays, you know, they're a third of the weight, if not less, and they're small, I mean, I'm not tiny, I'm, say, you know, six foot. 262 at the doctor the other day so if I get in that and I got both bags in the bivy and I feel like a burrito can't turn around you, you know you can't roll over in it and I'm a I'm kind of a side stomach sleeper so I'm always going from side to side you know and so just fair warning that's just my my opinion the way I feel about it it's a great bag I've never been cold in it matter of fact I've only got the the black bag and the bivy, I didn't even bring the green bag because I'm good for like zero. So, yeah, just a heads up if anybody was going to buy MMSS uh, sleep system. You know, if you're a smaller guy, you know, not quite so tall and a little thinner, probably work great for you. But remember, they're heavy, so if you're a hiker, big time, it's not for you. But, yeah, I got that. Got old Lucy hanging up there for now. Got the headlamp. Extra stuff in the bag. Got my deployment bag. I always have that for 12 bucks. That was two years ago. It was one of the best purchases. I got all my cordage in there, my camera gear in there. Oh, just a plethora of stuff. I'm going to do a little... Uh, review on it again it's been a while and there is a little damage to it but it was my own fault and then you got look at these i'm so poor my camp slippers for at night yeah look at that good old gorilla tape thank goodness thank goodness for gorilla tape and over here <clears throat> in there we got a couple cast iron skillets we got like Adrian made some homemade chili, like four bowls of that stuff we got to eat. So 
He's got some cheese. I got some cheese. We got some crackers. I did use my thermos at home and make up a batch of coffee. So when we got here and set up, we didn't have to mess around having a coffee. We already had it pre-made. So he's got me little reading material. This little uh, chair really has been working out good. It holds me fine. It's got nice feet on it. But there's Adrian. Yep. It's typical. He's just sitting there. <laughs> Not doing a damn thing. Nope, not Man, I just can't get him to move. He's, I mean, he just turned 50 here not long ago, so maybe maybe he popped over the edge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I, I just... Fell face first. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so, there is a little... He's talking about it. I almost had to drag you... Yeah, he, he did. He, he did almost had to drag me kicking and screaming, but you know what? Once I started... <laughs> Once I started back, I couldn't quit, man. I was on a mission. I'm like, yeah, why not, you know? He caught me early in the morning. I just woke up. or I'm like, nah, I don't want to go camping. And I'm like, you know what? You got the opportunity to go camping. Most folks don't have that opportunity all the time, so take advantage of it. But all right, I rambled on enough. I'll give you more info about Kev's Adventures, uh, Kevin's Adventures uh, 2000 sub push giveaway. And I got a little shout out to do for this new channel uh, that I subbed to here about a month ago or so. And all I can say is he's knocking out the cast iron Wednesdays. I'm here to tell you the man can cook. So we'll get you more info on that too. So yeah, we'll talk to you later. Hey folks, got us a fire going. Yep, smoke right in my eyes. It's not dogs for now. Early lunch. Sorry about that, the smoke's following me. <clears throat> there you go, brother Mark. The 2.0 backpacker grill works good for more than just cooking on. Nice rust for my hot dog fork. If you don't know Mark, eat carbs outdoors. Awesome guy, makes a lot of good videos over there from the west coast side of the country. He's also having a 25 sub 2,500 subscriber push. So, uh, yeah, get over there and check him out, man. Check out his giveaway video. I'll try to put a link below for it. Um, he's got some cool stuff. He's going to be cramming some box full of, boxes full of uh, all kinds of goodies. So, a lot of people have been away from the tube for uh, about a month or so so I got some catching up and some good friends that I uh, communicate a lot with on YouTube and Mark Eat Carbs Outdoors awesome guy another brother from another mother so go check him out we got all kinds of fixings we got some mayo horseradish sauce Adrian's got the old mustard out some shredded cheese, some V8, Fritos, the buns, some cheese, Cheez-Its, eating like a king. So, yep, pretty cool. It's about three o'clock now. We got here out here pretty early, so heck, I thought it was like 4:30 or so. So. All right, folks, we're going to take care of our lunch here, and I'll get back with you later. Hey, folks, just wanted to tell you all good night. It's around 11 o'clock. Just finished. Is it 12.30? Well, it's later than I thought, 12.30, and we just finished a big old monster bowl of chili off a little while ago. So... Oh, we're going to sleep good tonight. I'm going to get in my sleeping bag and be all toasty again. And It's down to, uh, what temp is it right now? About 38. About 38. It's supposed to get down to like 29, so we'll see. But, a little bit of moonlight. You probably can't see my tent back there. Probably just my Lucy light. Got one behind us.
kind of lighting up our other table there. We got some stuff sitting. So, all right, folks, thanks for coming along. We'll uh, definitely get a hold of you tomorrow, probably around breakfast time. So, have a good night. Hey, good morning, everybody. Had a good night. Stayed toasty. Didn't quite get to freezing. That water wasn't frozen. So I got down there, probably about 34, I'm thinking. But had a good cozy night. I was warm. Didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Adrian over here banging things around and woke me up at like 10.30. Yeah, that early. I only got nine and a half hours of sleep. Darn it. Mother Nature called the old bladder. I had to get up anyway, and that was a bummer because I could have laid there longer. But beautiful day, man. And today's supposed to be the best out of the three. It's supposed to get up to 50 in sunshine. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Looks like we're going to have uh, breakfast for lunch again every time we get our stuff around. Uh, Adrian got a fire going a few minutes ago. And it feels good because my fingers were froze. And I didn't want to have to throw my gloves on. Definitely keeping the old stocking cap on. It was pretty chilly last night. There's Adrian. He's just uh, doing smoke signals because it's chasing him around the fire pit. <laughs> but, yeah. We'll get back with you. Probably when we get out the skillets and get cooking. We've got a pretty good menu going on there, so you'll have to see what we have. <coughs> so, all right, folks, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Hope you're having a great day. There's Chef Adrian finishing up the taters on the stove. He said he was tired of burning his face on the fire because we do have a pretty good bed of coals. And he's got sausages going. I made up some big patties to try to get it to fit in the pan. <laughs> Boy, is that going to be good. It's on. Oh. Now all i got to do Come is... down there. <laughs> yeah. Wait for this stuff to finish up. And then, uh... Yeah. Bust out the eggs and we'll be tuned to Zoom. Be a nice full belly. Go collect some firewood. And... Mm, that smells good. Yeah, it is. It does smell good, man. We got some uh, taters with some onions and some mushrooms in there. We got some the sausage, just regular bulk sausage. Uh, Italian, I think, maybe. We got some coffee on the brew. So. Got the, the little grill stand. Yep, got the old 2.0 backpacker grill under there. That thing's sweet. That stainless steel sits in there and it doesn't even doesn't affect it a bit. Works really nice. He's trying to balance it on a couple logs. So, listen to that sizzle. All right, folks. We'll uh, we'll get back here when we get her all done. All right, folks. Breakfast is served. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that yumminess. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to dive in a little bit of... leg fried taters mushrooms and onions mm. good job uh -huh. Adrian awesome awesome hell of a camp cook all right folks so that'll be it we're gonna get to eat this before this gets cold out because it's still in the low 40s probably so 
we'll get back to you. So maybe I'll pop this on the cast iron Wednesday too, just for the heck of it. So we'll talk to you a little later. Yeah. No, well, folks, I'd take, decided to take a little walk down the trail here. Yeah, there's some deer runs. Seen a turkey scraping on the ground. That's about it. Yeah, our colors, our leaves are all falling off the trees. And old man Winter's knocking on the door, that's for darn sure. Well, it didn't get to 50 today. Got maybe 42, 43 out. It's not that warm. But that's all right. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Probably can't see it on this camera because it don't zoom, but nice burl. That white oak. Yeah, I got tired of sitting around camp. So we go out and like Aaron Nelson says, tree rats. Hats off my brother Aaron. Go check him out, folks. Check his channel out. Fellow Michigander. Master hunter fisherman, no doubt about it. He knows how to get them. All right, we'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, that folks, would be well. Man, just bought back to camp. Hadrian's way up there. Now I'm way back here. It's all right though. Decent little hike. No squirrel. Huh? Yeah. See some deer tracks. Turkey scrapes. No tree rat and wood. Firewood there. Fire going. Just kind of, just kind of, just keeping it going enough to keep going. So for later on, we can we have to start over again. Been using a lot of this dead stuff, the smaller stuff. I mean, it's some of its wrist size, you know, but it burns real good and it's hardwood and it's dry. A lot of this other stuff you see out there laying around, it's all uh, punky and wet. And you can actually watch the water come out of it when you put it in the fire. So, but yeah, we're getting uh, it's getting that time of day. The sun. We got roughly about. About an hour and a half before sunset, so. Must be about 5.30, 5, 5.30. So it's usually dark by 7, before 7. And uh, tonight the clocks fall back, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd shoot a little more video for you and share the adventure. <laughs> Look at that, I've been reading up. A little guide to bushcraft, uh huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool though. It'd be a good little book for, uh, really good for the beginners. And uh, it's got some good tips and tricks. Good refresher, good refresher book to read too, you know? Everybody forgets things 
I know I'm not perfect by no means. But. So, all right, folks, I'm going to let you go. And uh, if you start snoring again, I'll get over there. <laughs> Listen to Adrian snoring. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it's morning, folks. Got the fire going, kind of. It's about uh, 5 or 5.30, right around there. Had a little snowflakes here a little bit ago. A little warmer than it was last night. Got down to, like, well, as far as I could tell, 31. But, yeah. Right now. Yeah, it's actually fluttering some little flakes in there right now. But anyway, I want to do a shout out. And first, I got to do a, a finish my support video for Kevin's Adventures. Uh, he's having a uh, 2000 sub giveaway. He's got all kinds of things he's giving away, man. All kinds of prize packages, different ways to to get into it. Um, sorry, Kevin, for the lighting situation, but we're packing up because it's supposed to rain here before too long so we kind of want to get stuff folded up and put away before it gets all wet and uh, anyway folks go check out Kevin's Adventures 2000 sub giveaway man you gotta check this guy out because if you're not sub to Kevin's Adventures I don't know what to tell you but you're missing out missing out big time um, editing second to none his content second to none I mean I just love this channel I don't miss a video um, been watching his, ch his channel probably for a couple years now I know when he first started out was actually when I, I started watching it so when he started out is when I started watching his channel anyway yeah you got to get over there on that giveaway folks he's just got an awesome giveaway he's an awesome guy big supporter of the community I don't, you know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm kind of lost for words right now, but, yeah, great guy. So please go check him out. Also, go make sure you go check out Eat Carbs. He's got that 2,500 sub push. Uh, Mark, Eat Carbs Outdoors, got to check him out too. And then I want to do a shout out here for the Creative Outdoorsman. I just subbed him not long ago, probably a month, month and a half ago. He's in Central Florida. He's got 56 subs and uh, 18 videos. Does some good at nice editing. Uh, way better than me. He does uh, some trailblazing, and hiking, and camping. Uh, the great outdoors man and cast iron Wednesdays. This man knows how to cook and cast iron. I'm here to tell you folks, if you like cast iron cooking, get over there and check him out. I'm not sure who told me about him, but somebody said something about him. Man, I can't think of who it was. I'm sorry who shouted him out. Um, that I don't remember who it was, but it was a long time ago, you know, a month and a half ago. And, uh, yeah, man, the guy's got great videos. He's got a real sweet Jeep. I am a Jeep lover for years. He's got a nice Cherokee sitting up. Looks like 35s. Um, yeah, check him out too, folks, man. He's a great guy. He does some just... He made some pizza on the cast iron last week, and it was just phenomenal. It had chicken and beef and barbecue sauce. And, oh, ho, ho. But, yeah, probably going to wrap it up, folks. We're going to start putting some stuff away and get loaded up and get home. Uh, yeah. Got some stuff put away, but we still got our tarps and tents and sleeping bags. And it was a good time. Still had fun. Had a lot of good food as usual, and hiked around a couple times and went hunting a little bit. So. Yeah, just call it hunting. Yeah. <laughs> but. 
did have no luck. That's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you eat bear, sometimes berry chew. So I'll put a link below for uh, everybody I mentioned in the video. And uh, yeah, go check them all out for me, folks. I'd really appreciate it. And <coughs> definitely get on Kevin's Adventures giveaway and get in on uh, Mark, Mark Eat Carbs. Um, I don't know if there's any other giveaways going on right now or not. But anyway, check them ones out, folks. Take care. Have a great day, beautiful Sunday, and God bless.